Blarg. Business, business, business. Uh, paperwork. Uh, paperwork. Dark paperwork. side things. Uh, business, business. Is this working? Okay, uh, when, I, I, when I told you to talk about something side. random, I literally <laughs> met, talked about for the fuck you were doing the right. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, back to the podcast! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Uh, uh, so, anyhow, I, I we could have done this like two weeks ago, but we just I don't know. I don't know why we didn't do this two weeks ago. Why didn't we, we totally do this ready. while you were at home? Be- we did well because I was only home for like half the week for one, and that was like almost four weeks ago. Actually, it was four weeks. Ago. Oh. Anyways, uh, welcome anyways. back to the Round Table Gaming Podcast. I am one Death Eater, accompanied by Luna, Larg, Spike, Bye. and Poison. She's not here. Uh, it shows that she's here. Yeah, it does. She's, show not, that she's, she's here. not saying anything. Poison. Well, anyways, um, she might join us. Anyway, she might join us here in a moment. I have my truck on, so if anybody hears any background noises, it's probably my truck. Um, the only reason why my truck is on is because it's fucking hot outside, and um, yeah, I needed to cool off. Um, you there? Watch your fucking language, young man. Why is it hot I- there? It's cold here. Because it's Georgia. It's always hot here. Ugh, lucky. No, not. Well, it is except for one week out of the year. You've lived in Georgia for like pretty much all your, well, almost all your life. Dude, like all of winter is usually cold. Usually. Not always. Yeah, usually. And then it's like summer for like a month. And then snow for like a week anyways how are, how the fuck are you guys doing today pretty good i guess i learned a sinus infection oh god that's uh that's spring weather for you spring's finally here um, oh, spring yeah i know right spring was already in georgia like two months ago yeah <laughs> Uh, that picture is kind of funny that you posted in chat. Well, the I stands for ima- uh, and an imaginary number. Okay, hold up. There are imaginary numbers now? <laughs> are you? Are there going to be uh, unicorns in the next lesson? Can somebody no. teach me? Or, sorry, can somebody please teach me something useful like uh, how to ch- uh, balance a checkbook? <laughs> True. Oh, High school that, in that nutshell. That, that is pretty much... High school, in a nutshell. That's, what I, uh, that's, that's actually middle school said. to high school. That's what I just well, said. because we started I, learning algebra back in the in in middle school, or at least in um, my day we did. I know I'm just repeating what Poison just said, but you know, algebra whatever. is um, algebra. freshman now. Algebra is just what the fuck it's are useless. they teaching you guys in middle school then? Well, Trevor. You will never use the uh, the uh, the fucking. You will uh, never need to use triangles in the real world. I've uh, never once had to use triangles. Unless you're in the a real trigonometry world. teacher, or unless you're working exactly. with coding, or if you're exactly. building poles and towers. Yeah, I and mean, if you're true. a. If you're a okay, a- as a truck driver, or a uh, fucking uh, um, as a truck driver, I will never ever have to use something stupid like algebra. Uh, well, maybe not the algebra in the uh, equation form, but you will still have, I have to, to figure do about out to some extent, but not like the stupid imaginary how... numbers and all that. Yeah. You know, advanced crap that's really not even math. 
Because it, it's it's fucking made up shit. Yeah, there ain't no such the, thing uh, as a math fucking that you're working on number. is basically mental ratios. That picture is pretty much algebra in general. It's it's bullcrap. Yeah. Algebra is bullcrap. That being said, moving on, we do actually have some breaking news. Oh my god, breaking news. Uh, but first, Spike had a visit to Atlanta. How was it, Spike? Bridge exploded. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. We we got we gotta talk about what happened. There was a huge fire last as I as like a couple times. I don't know. Luna probably forgot again. There was a huge fire and um Part of I-85 in Midtown Atlanta just decided it was time to collapse. <laughs> it was insane. I saw the video of it collapsing. I'm just laughing my ass. The reason why I'm laughing my ass off is because Atlanta was fucked. And I'm not making fun of Atlanta. I, I promise you, I'm not. But the reason why I'm laughing is because Atlanta has the eight worst traffic in the world. <coughs> With that bridge collapsing, it just went from eight to one. And maybe the top five, but maybe not one. Maybe. Because But LA is still like number one. I was figuring more along the lines of New York City being number one. That'd be like top three. What the Fuck. Because New York City, you can't find a parking space in that city. Dude, the fucking interstates in New York City are the parking spot. Details. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very fun it's... to own your own vehicle in New York City. Yeah, I know. It's um, pretty bad. Major cities in general are really bad, especially... Uh... Houston, Atlanta. Houston's just, actually not that bad. It's not that bad. It's pretty much Atlanta, but... Minus the exploded so, bridge? Well, actually, no, because, you know, I've been through Houston traffic. Sometimes it's not that bad. Sometimes it's um sudden, you know, stop. Just stop. Yeah, but at least that stop is only for maybe a few seconds. And then you're moving maybe. about five miles an hour. Yeah, and then, not to mention, you got... People in Texas do not have any respect for truck drivers whatsoever. So, I got people cutting me off every, every other fucking minute. Ain't that the day. Uh, anyways... Uh, moving on to uh, the actual breaking news right now, um, with E3, we got some rumors that are finally starting. Um, it's it started up on the thirtieth, and uh, that will continue to to uh, do its thing for the next April, May until E3, pretty much. Uh, so basically. The first thing we should probably talk about is Microsoft. And Microsoft has officially announced that their conference will be on... Give me a second, because I actually have to look on my phone calendar for E3 week. Okay, so um, Microsoft's conference it has been official confirmed for June 11th. At 5 p.m. Eastern Standard, I think. It's either Eastern or Pacific. It might be. It's. It might be on Pacific. Cause... It might be Pacific because isn't it in California? Yeah. I've also learned that last year, as we saw, there is a separate stage in New York City. Or somewhere up there. Okay. 
Okay, no, that yeah, I know. Wasn't expanding that far out. I know. I didn't know either. So, fuck. Huh. How the hell are you I supposed don't know. to keep I don't... one convention uh, organized? How are you supposed it, to do all of this organized. shit? Because you have to be in two states at once. Well, there's also a stage in London, too. Because remember Ubisoft's last year? They were in two places at once. Yeah, that's true. I forget where they were. EA was in two places at once. Two countries, actually. That's, that was the London one. <sighs> Anyways, like I said, um, Microsoft has been confirmed June 11th at 5 Pacific. Don't Give quote him minute. on this until it's there. Uh... Until he's got the paperwork in front of him. 2 p.m. Pacific, excuse me. I was right the first time. It's 5 p.m. Eastern. Oh, okay. But, yeah. On this... Uh, on June 11th, also. The ru uh, big rumors, probably confirmed... Um, they've already confirmed the press conference. Project Scorpio will appear in Microsoft's press conference. Well, of course it will. I mean, there's they haven't a huge rumor going around that Microsoft will release Project Scorpio after E3. Most like after likely, the conference. Yeah, most likely it'll be either right after or shortly after. Like within the it's next. It's just month a really so. big rumor. I don't take my word for it. It's just speculations again, at this it point. It could be Christmas. Like it could be right. Christmas for Xbox right now. And um, what better time do I release a console than? Christmas, right? E3. <laughs> People don't have E3 money is, at E3. They, they spend all their money going E3 to E3. E3 is a gamer's Christmas. <laughs> they this spend is all their money going to E3, though. I know, right? That being said, well, we're going to continue to talk about Microsoft for a little bit because they will not only be talking about Project Scorpio because there's a nice lineup of games to be talking about. Steam keys have yet to come out. Um, so we might see a release, an official release date at E3. Because it was supposed to release last month. It got delayed again. So we might see it again at E3. Or they might cancel it. Most likely, as far as uh, scale bound, though, that's just in the can. That's sad. That is really sad about Scalebound. Another thing, I though, really about... I was excited Thief. about playing that one. Give me a second. There's uh, there's a thing, though, about Sea Thieves. There are already games like that on Steam. Yeah. And I'm just sitting here like, where the fuck is this game at? Because I want to play it right now. I want to play it. Yeah. There are already, like, two other games that I know of I can't remember the name off the top of my head that are just like CPs. They have the same kind of concept well, of, the, of the pirates and yeah. But anyways, the major games that we know of that will be this year's E3 for Microsoft are uh, Crackdown 3, CPs, and State of Decay 2. I think I have it in my wish list. Should be in here. Oh yeah. Also, I just have one other thing to say. Where the so, fuck is uh, the, the fractured butthole? We'll, we will figure out what the hell is wrong with fractured butthole. The current release date now is like, I think I heard December May or 31st June. December 31st on 
on Steam. On Steam? Yeah. That's not what I heard. I heard Summer. Let me double check what I thought. From GameStop. From GameStop, that is. Because it should have came out uh, in March. March 31st is when it should have came out. Yeah, then, Steam says available December 31st, 2017. The only reason why they're saying that is, be is because they don't really know either. Yeah, apparently I don't have that fucking uh, game that I was looking for. We'll talk anyway. about Fractured Butthole here in a second. We're going to move on to uh, Sony, uh, and their conference has been confirmed on Monday, June 12th at 9 p.m. Eastern, so that's a uh, usual time. And um, it will be uh, 2 a.m. Tuesday for the UK, Tuesday, June 13th in the UK. So it'll be live, of course. You can find it probably on YouTube, probably on the... Uh, I know Sony will do something for PlayStation. Like, I, I think you'll be able to watch the stream on whatever. You just have to click on something. Same with the Xbox on, uh, or Xbox stream. Oh. I, I found the game that I was looking for uh, that was kind of like... Uh... Um, see if Thieves. Black Wake. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, uh, you'll be able to find the streams on, uh, Twitch. You could... I think... Follow E3 on Twitch. I don't know if E3 is... On Twitch. I know E3 yeah, is I on know Twitch. You, I know that you should be able to find it on IDN. I know IGN will stream it on, on their site, there we go. but I would rather trust Twitch. Well, IGN's going to stream from Twitch, or they're going to stream on their website, but it's going to be from Twitch. There might be something that we might need to do uh, um, edit in this thing, because uh, stupid... Um, Thing in my browser started uh, decided to start playing no oh, it's fine well if you can if you already got it pause it's fine I stopped it already well it's fine you won't need to edit we'll keep this uncut um, anyways uh, moving on to a uh, Sony well actually does spike have anything to say about Microsoft I thought we already moved on to Sony I didn't hear anything from Spike though. I want, I want him to get his word on stuff. Spike? Smurf. Spike? He's still here, but. I know, I hear his feedback. He ain't saying nothing. He must be somewhere else. Probably FK. Well,. I guess we'll move on to Sony then. Um, last year, Sony announced their 4K console, the uh, pretty much the Slim, PlayStation 4 Slim. Yeah, because they can't do uh, PlayStation 5 anymore. <laughs> Actually, um, that's still a huge rumor. That's just a huge rumor, and I, I just want to say right now, if Sony is planning a PlayStation 5, they need to wait, like, big time. Yeah, they need to they wait need... and make sure that the Scorpio is not going to fuck over. The thing is, though, we do not... Because the Scorpio is coming out, the Scorpio is pretty much a, um, a little upgrade to the Xbox One. It will still be able to play Xbox One games, as we heard. Um, but the thing is, is that because of Project Scorpio, this proves that we do not need another generation console. 
Yeah. If Sony, in my personal belief, Sony wants to survive, they need to release a, a console that's pretty much like Project Scorpio. Yeah, an upgradable machine. But the thing is, they need for it to be able to play PlayStation 4 games and PlayStation 3 games. And PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1. Uh, the, th the thing is, though, if not the, the remastered versions of those games. I, I say PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3 is because everybody upgraded from PlayStation 2 to PlayStation 3. Everybody well, my should... PlayStation 3 have... has uh, the ability to play PlayStation 1 games. Yeah. And some PlayStation 2 games without having to go and get a damn remaster. Yeah. Maybe, though. Maybe if enough people want PlayStation 2 backwards compatible, but the thing is, though, everybody is demanding PlayStation 3 backwards compatibility. 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 You hear words, So if Steven. Sony... Well, finally you're back. Um... So if Sony really wants to survive in the gaming universe, they need to, their next console does not need need to be a generational console. There does not need to be a PlayStation Five. What they need to do it's not going to stop them. Yeah, to be perfectly might not honest stop. with you, I believe that Nintendo is going the way of Sega. I don't know, but the thing. No, Nintendo's hold on. Let, let, let's just say up. what I need to say. What Sony needs to do, they might they might not watch this, and they might not even heed what I'm going to say, but what Sony needs to do is make an upgrade PlayStation 4 and call it the PlayStation. Don't call it anything else. Don't call it PlayStation 5. Just call it the PlayStation. They can't do that. That was what the PlayStation 1 was called. No, PlayStation 1 was technically called PlayStation X. No, it was called the, the Sony PlayStation. The Sony PlayStation X. Look it up, Luna. I promise you that was a name. But that being said, just call it the, the PlayStation. Have it, ha have it be able to play PlayStation 4 games PlayStation 3 games, and if people demand it, PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1 games. Steven, what? I'm going to read this out to you real quick, and you are going to be uh, saying, fuck. You're right. No, I'm not. Because the PlayStation Japanese, uh, I cannot fucking pronounce that, officially abbreviated to PS and commonly known as PS1 or the PSX, which is the uh, emulator version of the PlayStation, is the ho is a home video game console developed by uh, and marketed by Sony a Computer Entertainment. So it was originally the called PlayStation. the PlayStation. No, it was originally called the PlayStation X when it first came out. Uh, the place the the PSX is a uh, emulator. PSX is an emulator. The PlayStation X was what it was originally called, and then PlayStation Two came out. That's when everybody called it the place uh, the, the Sony PS1. PlayStation. The PS One for short. But that's just the PS One. Everybody could call that the PS One. I don't care. I'm still saying. Call it the PlayStation. Because we already got whatever Sony PlayStation or PS1. I don't or care. just call, call it the it... PlayStation 1. Xbox did it. The thing is, though, there was already a PlayStation 1. Uh, but it's no, not officially the called the PlayStation 1. It was officially true. called the PlayStation. This is true, but Xbox... Okay, you kind of got me. Because Xbox did Xbox. 
or no, Microsoft did just pure Xbox, just Xbox, not Microsoft Xbox. It was just Xbox. Yeah, that's what the first Xbox was, Xbox. And then it was Xbox 360, and then it was just Xbox One. Yeah. Well, anyways, I get what Spike's trying to say. PlayStation One, it's a good idea. But would that be copyright? No. Because Xbox One? It's just saying, though, if we're on the point that we don't need another new console, they just need to keep developing the PlayStation 4. Make it great. Yeah. But give us... Don't, don't abandon us... it and try something new, even though it's not actually new. You just abandon your previous console and sell us the same thing all over again. Give us the ability to play PlayStation 3 games. That's what we want. They won't do it. They already said no. I know they won't do it, but that's pretty much what we're demanding right now. I know they won't do it, but... Give them time, nice they'll do a PlayStation uh, 1 and PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3 rem remixes for the... Uh, oh, and PlayStation 4 remixes for the new console. I don't think and so. And resell it to you at full price. I just don't think so. I think in so if Sony was smart enough, they would do what the fans demand. That being said, um, Sony will most likely be working on um, showing off games. There is confirmed a Call of Duty World War II in the making. Um, Steven? There's a new yeah. Call of Duty every year. I know. But this one's going to be how set in World War II. How is this a surprise that there's going to be a new Call of Duty? The point is, is that it's going to be set in World War II. One of their old past games was uh, set in World War II as well. Y you do realize that there hasn't been a Call of Duty World War II game in over... Seven, eight years yeah call me up when they start world war 3 they did it's called modern warfare 3 oh sorry call me up when they call uh, start up world war 4 they did it's called infinite warfare no I'm kidding it's okay, called um, let me know when 5 comes up no Oops. that was war of the worlds <laughs> 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 okay, so what war it, it are they up to? It wasn't World War, it was War of the Worlds. Okay, well, <laughs> what World War are they up to now? <laughs> They're not really doing World Wars anymore, it's just fuck all warfare. Anyways, um, major games that they will be, that has been confirmed. Days Gone, which is that zombie game that we saw last year. Yeah. Uh, Death Stranding, I can't remember what that one was about. Detroit Become Human, which was that Android game we saw last year, which I really want. God it's of just War. Another, uh, heavy rain. I know, but it's going to be amazing. God of War. That actually, no. That actually looks really cool. Back, back to Detroit Become Human. That's basically LA Noir, except it's set in the future, has androids, and it's set in Detroit. And it's also I don't basically care. I still want this game. heavy rain. No, it's I don't basically care. heavy rain. I don't care. I want the game. So you want Anyways. a graphic novel? Yes. God of War. That one actually looked really cool. Is this a reboot or is this a continuation of the story? Most likely, I'm assuming it's a continuation. If not, a continuation with the passing of the torch. We saw the trailer last year. It featured Kratos. When Kratos' his kid. Yeah, his son. Like I said, this might be the passing of the torch uh, game. This, yeah, I, I might, I might take the same thing, but I don't think this is Kratos' last game. Of course not. I mean, you can't kill the I god think... of war. I think um, there will be 
another God of War game after this one. And um, that will be when the torch will be passed. Because I think if they, depending on how this game goes and depending on how the story goes, if they kill off Kratos in this game, okay. I, I, I'll... i Depending I'll on try. how they do it. Depending on how they do it. But if they don't, he dies next game. Even there gods has get next. tired. There's... There's going. There has to be a next game if they're rebooting God of War. But Kratos actually isn't a god. He's a god killer. I. I know. I was responding to Spike. Uh, moving forward, Doesn't Grand matter. Turismo even, Sport. Even god killers get tired. <laughs> Grand Turismo Sport, which is something I've never really heard about until now. <laughs> Knack 2, uh, the uh, Spider-Man game, which we saw a trailer of last year, and we saw a potential gameplay of it earlier this year. I, I think it was, it was Alpha. That's my, that's my belief right now. I think that was just Alpha. The Last of Us 2 and Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Now, the Uncharted series came to an end with the fourth game. This is a brand new Uncharted series with, with brand new characters. I know nothing about. So, that would be very interesting to see. So, uh, moving on to Nintendo. Now, what we've heard about Nintendo... Uh, nothing but heard... bad news about the Switch. Well, Switch is going to be featured, for one. Uh, and two, Nintendo apparently has some big news. So this could be the Pokemon game that, that we know they're making. Or it uh, could be that they're actually planning on fixing all the flaws with the uh, Switch. It could be, yeah, they might do My that. My vote's on that. They need to do that. <laughs> they might... Do a uh, a recall on all the switches and to promise fix to them? yeah fix them yeah. and also get, uh, ship out it's new ones after they the recall. only yeah, fix them. the only major game that we know of is the Pokemon game and Super Mario Odyssey. What was that Pokemon game called again? I think it was. Stars, I think Spike was uh, saying that could be called. Stars isn't actually confirmed. So it's we don't know what's called. We don't even know there's going to be a Pokemon game. It's a rumor. But we, but we know that they're making one, but we don't know what's No, we be. don't. We don't know that they're we making one. We believe there's a rumor. We don't actually know anything for sure. Anyways, uh, shall we continue with EA? Yeah. Do we really have to do EA? We kind of have to, because they will do a E3 conference this year. Don't you we know EA's uh, motto? Give us your money. <laughs> I realize that I don't get two craps, and I will continue playing EA games as long as they're good. But most of them are crap. I don't fucking care if they're crap. I see your oh, EA and I good. raise you one Mass Effect Andromeda. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I I would sooner play Mass Effect Andromeda than most EA games. Mass Effect Andromeda is an EA game. Oh dear God. <laughs> oh, by the way, it's been like, what's the rating on that game by the way, Spike? As in... 1 through 10, or, or or its what actual graphics. General, rating? like, how would you rate it? What What is oh. your scale? Oh. Hmm. Please tell me you that, the demo? that's not microtransactions. I, or... I own it, Steven, I own it. I give it oh, a right. 6. I give it a 6. Out its 10. multiplayer has microtransactions. Its single player never does. Oh, thank God. Since when do single I mean, player get... In Mass Effect 3, you have to purchase the good ending. Steven? 
Don't ask that question. Let's talk about that game, but whatever. But I give it a six. It's slightly above average, but not awesome. And as far as since when have I single-player games had microtransactions. Go look at Ubisoft and uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Okay, I'm looking at it. Alright, you see and the resource... I uh, you... You and see... I raise you Assassin's Creed 3. Okay, you see the uh, resource uh, package, uh, packages that they have for it that they can sell you? So? Those are. Do uh, you have to get it? No, but do you then have to? Does it Creed. enhance the story? Then there's in Assassin's Creed Unity. Does the uh, resource pack uh, uh, um, affect the story in any way? Yes yeah. and no. Then I don't care. It's how you upgrade your ship, just like in Assassin's Creed Unity. It's how you upgrade your gear. Yeah. I don't oh, care. Yeah, I, I don't about upgrade Unity. my gear. I want to play the story. This is to play the story. I don't care. You, 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 you're saying this like I should care. Microtransactions do not belong in single player. Well, don't tell me this. But Microtransactions be commonplace, on period. To, moving on to EA, like we were trying to freaking talk about. And I'm trying to avoid uh, that plague. Major games that we know of. Need for Speed. Yeah, and... it's that time of year, isn't it? What? I said, yeah, it's that time of year, isn't it? I think so. And Star Wars Battlefront 2. Hopefully they make up for the sins of the first Battlefront. They will. Oh, wait, no, that was Star Wars Battlefield, rather. What? Which one was no. it that was single player only? Or not single player, I mean uh, multiplayer only. Not multiplayer only, there's single player. No, I'm talking about the Star Wars game that was that was kind of like Titanfall's release. Where it was multiplayer only. You talking about the MMO? No. Because there's... The only Star Wars full multiplayer game that I know of is the MMO. Hang on. <sighs> it was that massive flop a few years ago. What? I think it's Battlefield, I think. Star Wars Battlefield. What? Star no, Wars Battlefront. Oh, it's Battlefront? That's... that's not multiplayer only. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Steven. I have the game, Spike. Steven. Spike. Those are I no have more than training missions. There's no story have mode. It's multiplayer only. I don't care if it doesn't have story mode. There are still single player, single player stuff to do. Single player entails story mode, dude. For like an hour. At least. So? It's still, it is still single player. Yeah, Battlefront. Actually, you can't play it offline. It won't let you. I'm sure you could. Nope. It's got to have try. an internet connection. I'll try it. When I do, I'll let you know. But yeah, anywho. Like I say, Battlefront on. was too much of a sin to the Star Wars fans. I don't, I don't fucking care. I think it was a, um, what, what do you call it? A tech test. For $60? Well, well, then they should have sold it for 30 if it was a tech test. Because they only sold you half a fucking game. And then tacked on a DLC, which no, you had they, to pay for what they for did, new maps. What they did was they sold you nostalgia and they tacked Star Wars onto it. Mm-hmm. Well, then maybe you should go complain to EA instead of complaining to me that we are, we I'm We already did. We already did, and supposedly they're making a new game for us. 
It has been confirmed that there will be a story mode, by the way. There but there will it be good? It remains to be seen. Yeah, EA and story modes don't good. really tend to be very good half the time. I care if it's crap. I don't care if the story mode is crap. Luna, I Luna, Luna, it. Luna, Luna. You Battlefield. Battlefield. Battlefield has an excellent story mode. Oh. The, the thing about EA is they don't actually make their games. They market them. So all of the marketing decisions in the games, which includes microtransactions, are EA's decisions. The game itself is completely designed by an independent developer. In dice. the case of Battlefield and Battlefront, DICE. Oh. DICE we was basically held at gunpoint to make Battlefront. We we do like, like dice. dice, but that game was rushed. They never actually completed it. Yeah, the, they didn't I have the time. I will admit it was rushed, and it could have been taking a lot. You know, if they had taken their time, the game would have been better. The yeah. game would have been way better if the if they'd actually allowed for more time. And then look uh, at Microsoft. Right, uh, and then look at Microsoft. The company wanted to take their time, and they shut them down. Yeah. We're never going to get to experience awesome dragon gameplay because of Microsoft. Fuck you, well, Microsoft! Anyways, like Nintendo, there has okay, not so been an official uh, time or day for their conference. Um... We're going to assume that Nintendo will be on Wednesday and uh, EA will be, like, Monday or Tuesday. Dude, do you have any idea okay. how far away E3 is and you're trying to decide what day everything's going to be on? It's not like everybody's going to write this down on their... No, it's not like everyone's going to write this down on their calendars. They don't care I, until it's I a month writing, away. No, I am no, writing no. this down. I just told you the dates for, the, for Microsoft and uh, Sony... But it's not a month away yet. There's no point to write anything down. Yeah, because I don't care. People... I'm writing stuff down. It's been confirmed. If it's been confirmed, I'm writing it down. Okay, you write it down then. Anyway, yeah. anyways, I'd, I'd love to see more of this Project Star Wars thing. The fact that they're making tons and tons of Star Wars games set in different genres is intriguing, but also slightly concerning. Spike, you it's won't just, know. It's what like they they're playing? trying to make money. It's like they're trying to make money off of Star Wars without actually making games. Spike, we yeah. won't know about the games until E3. Yeah, I'm aware of this, but it, it's just slightly concerning that they promised us five Star Wars games in the span of two years. Yeah, That's my hopes. I really do. I have high hopes for these five Star Wars games. I do too, but I'm not expecting them to be good. Me either. Now, there may be a diamond in the rough subject, in them. So but... we can actually talk about something else for a change. Let's talk about a good company for once. How about Bethesda? I'm still wondering what the hell they're going to they're do this year. Right now. I don't even know what they're doing right now besides Prey. They're doing one more conference this year, and then we we think that they're going away next year. For Don't uh, know. for to do, to work on some kind of project. Well, here's like. the thing. Here's the thing. We've been told they were working on three projects, and we got told what one of them was, Skyrim. So what are the other two? Well, Elder there's Scrolls a 6. good chance Pass. that uh, six, Elder Scrolls Six may be one of them. Then again, they, they have, could be they have never confirmed. They have never confirmed or denied anything we speculated on. Then again, they we could also be remastering the on. older uh, uh, Elder Scrolls games. They could we also remaster a Fallout game. Yeah. We know they are working on another Elder Scrolls game. They don't have to tell us. We know because of Fallout Do we know 4. that? Do we know that? No. Yeah, do we, we know that? They gave Why? us Sky. They gave us Skyrim Special Edition. Do we know that they're actually working on a new one? 
They yeah, gave they us Fallout 4 two Dallas. years ago, Spike. How are they not going to give us another Elder Scrolls game? Because they don't release them in any specific pattern. Yeah. Look, the hype for Fallout 4 is done. There needs to be another hype game for Bethesda. They could just disappear off the face of the map for for they about might. two or three years. They might. They might. They they might just do that. They might not even announce another new game. They might just show off Prey and um, Quake. That's probably it. And um, or they could have. But then we'll never know what the their MMO. two projects are. I want to know what their two projects are. We'll probably never know. They might tell us this year. They might not for another. Uh, another couple of years. Yeah. They might show up. We do know one dip- thing. We do know one thing about Bethesda. Whenever they start making a new game, whenever they're getting ready to announce it, they leak it all over the place. Yeah, I know. So Yeah, nothing Which is why leaked. which is why Fallout 4 leaks got so popular. It's because people were uh, people knew that Bethesda used that pattern, so they figured if they leaked it, they could uh, they could spread the hype train, make them think that something's coming when it never is. <coughs> There's also speculation that Bethesda planned it that way. Maybe, but that yeah. just makes Bethesda sound evil. It does, and we like Bethesda. We like their games. We like what they do. And that's the the evil we love. I still think there has to be another Elder Scrolls game coming out. Bethesda is Bethesda is the hero this world needs. EA is the hero it deserves. Oh dear God. (laughs) What are you talking about, Spike? Dude, the world sucks, so we deserve EA. No, Game we deserve to die. But the hero we need is Bethesda. <laughs> the games that have been confirmed uh, for the Bethesda conference is uh, Doom VR, Fallout 4 VR, and Quake Champions that we saw last year. None of which are the two projects. No. It's just two VR games and Quake. So yeah. no, two, are v- two VR integrations. They're not yeah. actually standalone games. They're being yeah, integrated they're into being the games integrated. that already exist. Yeah. yeah. I know. It's going to be really nice, to be honest. That's going to be a massive update. I know. Can you imagine this, though? Doom yes, I can. And actually. VR? Because it's going to happen. It's already uh, terrifying uh, enough as uh, is. Spike, you won't be able to I, handle it. I raise you one Fallout 4 in VR. Ha! <laughs> because it's Wait. been confirmed. The I'm wasteland is right way now. more terrifying. So the wasteland is way more terrifying than demon seg coming down your throat. Luna, I killed. I used to kill demons on a daily basis. Okay, I can get that. Like, like my I did so with Saragua. Do you have any idea what it is or what it's like to fight a demon with a sword? Yeah. Well, anyways, like Bethesda, or no, like Microsoft, Bethesda will also be uh, doing a Sunday conference. It will be live at 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. So if they were to leak Elder Scrolls, what should we be on the lookout for? Uh, when, they, when they leaked Skyrim, they kept showing concept art of Skyrim. Well, we I would could just, be looking I would say for concept art. We could be looking for a uh, new concept art. This for, is uh, this Morrowind. is the original Skyrim, by the way. When they leaked Skyrim, it was actually concept art, the original, not the special edition. The special edition was a blindside. We knew they had to be remastering one of the two, but we didn't know which one. They but might just when they originally box. released Skyrim, they released concept art of the location and concept art of the races. What if they just pull off a surprise like they did with the special edition? What if they just pull off a surprise and say, 
Hey, check this out. Out of scroll that, six. That would be breaking well, pattern. They're supposed to leak it first. Yeah. But what if they don't? What if they decide to just say, here's the scroll six? Didn't they leak Doom by showing the power armor? Yeah. I don't think so. Like fully rendered power armor? Yeah. What? Yeah. What did they do to leak they, Fallout 4? They to... leaked it on uh, YouTube. Fallout 4 was Please Stand By. Do you not even remember that? No, I really don't. I squealed like a schoolgirl when I saw that. It showed up on Twitter. Oh. Who was it that owned uh, Wolfenstein? Bethesda? I think that's Bethesda. Oh dear god, they're working on uh, the next Wolfenstein game. <laughs> oh my god, if that's so fucking true, I will pay you ten dollars. Only ten? Eh, probably fifty. Okay, I'll take that. Yeah, I, okay. If Wolfens if there's another- if it's a brand new Wolfenstein game, not a remastered, but brand smacking new Wolfenstein game, I mean, we haven't. I mean, we haven't had a new Wolfenstein game in a while since the days of the PlayStation Three. Actually, has it really been that long? I think so. Okay, it's been a little bit shorter time than I thought, but I was, I was seriously thinking the last Wolfenstein game that I remember. Was on the uh, or was in the days of the Super Nintendo. Nope, there was a brand new Wolfenstein game, uh, not too long ago, right before uh, the current gen came out. Okay. And I think it's also on the current gen. It just got uh, it, gone. it came out when the new the current gen came out. Yeah. Just about. And it probably also got a remaster for it then. No, it's one of the. Uh... It's one of the or first exactly. Xbox One games. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, uh, Bethesda, um, I already told you guys the best time. So how about Ubisoft? Do we it's... even care what Ubisoft is doing? Well, I, I just want to see them. I just want to see them. Game. I just want to see them drop the f bomb on stage again. I want that was awesome. By Aisha, the way. <laughs> I want Aisha to drop the N word. <laughs> but she's Dude, black. No way. Do it, Aisha! Please, I'm begging you, do it. That was do uh, it. That was the uh, chick that was from last year's name, right? Don't let your dreams be dreams. Just do it. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't matter if a uh, if a black person says the N word. <laughs> it's only when oh a white guy says it that people get all uppity. No, I I say Aisha will do something great again because I think she's gonna host it again. I hope so because she dropped the f bomb last year. See? That was awesome. So uh, she's, after when, that, when will a uh, uh, cis white male become uh, a racial slur? Oh what what mm, what now? This year. Cis white Pro male. What probably the hell does that year. even mean? It means you're a completely ordinary white male. I'd say I don't know. It depends on how offensive it gets. Well, it's used to describe anyone who's against feminism. The very second you say anything that's not the same as their views, they claim that you're a cis white male, even if you're not. Well, anyways, moving back to Ubisoft, we know that there's going to be another Assassin's Creed game because well, Assassin's Creed movie was last year. Yeah, they've skipped a year, so there has to be another one now. Well, yes and no. What they said after Syndicate came out, um, it, it seemed kind of like they they didn't want or they didn't think that the series can be continued um they left room for continuation they left plenty of room to continue the games but 
the thing, thing is, they... the fans, the fans are leaving the, uh, the fans are leaving them. I think the reason why... They're they... losing popularity. Part of the reason is because they actually allowed that movie. Well, the thing is, though, I think the reason why they're saying that is because they want to try to take their time with this game like they did with the other game. No, there is no Assassin's Creed game confirmed. All we know is they release Assassin's Creed Syndicate and they notice that their numbers have dropped considerably since Unity. Well, so they're well, worried that the series they're worried the that the series is Unity. dead. They're worried that the series is dead and they're not really sure what to do about it. Well, they kind well, of screwed it... themselves with Unity because Unity. Unity was just broken. And also, their servers are always down now. Well... We can't connect so. to each other. If they, if they come back with a brand new Assassin's Creed game, they need to talk about what's in it. Just, they just need to talk about what's in it. They need to show us gameplay. They need to show us that it's not broken. They need to show oh, us actual Syndicate's, gameplay. Syndicate's not broken. Syndicate actually plays really well. It just feels like a I more know. complete unity. But the problem is nobody wants to give it a try. Because everybody was afraid that it was just going to be another broken game. Well, so what Ubisoft needs to do, Ubisoft needs to try to sell. Not, not just off of popularity. They need to actually sell the game. Yeah, they, they don't have to sell well. the they game have, again. Uh, they don't have popularity working for them anymore. They actually have to sell their product now. They, and they don't they remember how to, to do that us. since Assassin's Creed One. They need no Assassin's Creed Brotherhood or no Revelation. No Brotherhood. No, the first game. Brotherhood. Was the first one Bro that they Brotherhood had was when they stopped trying. Brotherhood was when they stopped trying. Because that was uh, right was after Assassin's game. Creed Two sold. Brotherhood was a great game. I loved it. Revelations, eh, it was a good ending. I liked Revelations more than I liked Brotherhood. Do we have Brotherhood, Spike? We have the entire Ezio collection, and now pretty much all of the Ezio collection is backwards compatible. Wait, when did awesome. you get it? Not the actual game, the Ezio collection. We have all of the games that Ezio are in, or is in. Oh, oh okay. I'm still about, um, I'm still figuring out. I, I own that. all of the Assassin's Creed with Ezio in them digitally. So as they become backwards compatible, Luna gets them too. Oh, cool. Oh, quick question: Do we have all the uh, Altair games? Yeah. No. Damn. Wait, it's there's only fun. one. <coughs> I thought there was more than one. And uh, I own I own that as a physical really copy. As an Altair game. Damn it! That means I gotta get it then. Anyways, Altair um, Revelations doesn't really count as an Altair game. It still counts as Ezio. Because that's the main focus. Yeah. Then there's so... Connor. Then there's Connor and Edward. Connor was my favorite. I like uh, Connor. Oh, well. Which I really like Assassin's Creed 3. Oh, yeah. Connor was the Native American kid, right? Yeah. 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 He was my favorite. Between Connor and he's Edward, my, those are he's my, my favorite. He's my favorite assassin, but my favorite game is Black Flag. <laughs> Flag, yes. It had a great story, and uh, Connor probably is one of the best assassins in my yeah. Next to Ezio. No. In my opinion. Connor's number one. Anyways, um, going back to Ubisoft, they don't have a confirmed uh, streaming date along with... Um, I think it does. No, but that's it. Did it? Yeah, it did. Uh, Ubisoft doesn't have an, uh, an official streaming date, uh, so we'll find that out later. Uh, but the major games that have been confirmed is uh Rayman Legends uh the definitive definitive 
yeah, definitive edition for Switch. Uh, Steep for Switch, and we need to find out what the fuck is wrong with South Park the Fractured Butthole. Yeah, because it's been too long. They should have had it's it out by now. That it will be at E3, so they might tell us an official release date, maybe? Or apologize for uh, taking so long. <laughs> yeah, because I pretty much took that off my pre-order. I'm pretty pissed off about that. Um, Activision will probably just coexist with um, Sony's conference, like last year and the most year before. Most likely, as far as Fractured Butthole goes, most likely what happened <laughs> was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> was that uh, most likely the uh, company that was designing the game could uh, was having trouble working with the actual creators of South Park. Yeah. Well, anyways, moving on. To to Activision, um, yeah. Activision will, uh, like I said, will they will probably show off their games with Sony. So, whatever game Activision's throwing out, it'll be presented at the Sony's co at Sony's conference. So, the confirmed games. Did we all see the Destiny Two trailer? Because I didn't. No, I haven't yet. Apparently, people are freaking out about it, and I'm just sitting here like, why? Destiny sucked. Yeah, Destiny One sucked. Why do I want to be freaking about? another MMO shooter. The thing was, the hype ruined Destiny. It could have been a good game if there wasn't so much fucking hype. Yeah. But because that there was so much hype, it kind of ruined the game. So don't be too hyped about Destiny 2. It was hyped because they sold us something that didn't exist. They kind lied to like us. another game. And then they sold us expansions, which is really unneeded. You know, Basically... Destiny Destiny was no man's sky before it was cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> But they didn't they didn't it. lie they didn't lie nearly as much as Hello Games did though. They did lie about a lot of the gameplay, but they were So what about Destiny place. two? What about Destiny 2? Watch Dogs 2 redeemed the original, but I still don't... I don't care. The first games of both series were such a massive flop. I'm not gonna get invested in a failed series. Yeah. The thing is, though... Games have... I don't know. Because Assassin's Creed didn't get big until Assassin's Creed 2. Assassin's Creed 2, oh my god, it, it was... I, the hype for Assassin's Creed 2 was big. It's because they fixed the broken combat system. Yeah. I mean, Assassin's Creed 1 was great, but the combat sucked. It, it lived up to half its hi uh, hype, excuse me, but it was just the minor details that was such a big letdown that, you know, the second game just fucking works. So maybe Destiny 2 will work. Maybe it won't. Give it to Destiny 3. The same thing could be said about Mass Effect. The first game was technically a flop. The second game had the best story of all three of them. So maybe Destiny 2 could be a better game. Maybe. I will be willing to try it out if the reviews say try it out. Well, I'll if it's anything I like the first game, play. there might be a demo. Maybe. And, of course, like I said earlier, there is a Call of Duty game in the making. And it's going to be based in World War II. <sighs> so, looking forward for that. Like I say, as far as uh, um, Destiny goes, wait for video gameplay. Uh, companies we should probably look out for. Um, 
What do you guys Stay think? Stay the hell away from Hello Games. <laughs> they have not been confirmed for E3. So, shut up. <laughs> Make an actual prediction. Uh, well, I'm going to do my same prediction as last year. That's probably not going to come true. Three. God, I can only pray for Portal 3. <laughs> Why can't Valve count past 3? Or I don't know. What three. sucks is they keep giving us concepts and I know. tech demos. I know, and it drives me nuts. Okay, here are the uh, companies that um, we should probably keep a lookout for. Ban Nap Nap Namco, excuse me. Bandai, I, it's actually... Bandai Namco, the the two are connect, or the two are the same company now. And that, who's uh, yeah, making a uh, what you call it, um, ukulele? I think so. No, probably yeah, not. I well, anyways, who the hell it was. But they're known for those nostalgic games. Move it on, Capcom. Got yeah, you can never go wrong with Marvel versus Capcom. Yeah, Capcom is a really good company. Um, CD Projekt Red. Um, huh? It's a, I think it's a PC company. All I have to say about companies is fuck Konami. Speaking of Konami, um, <sighs> <laughs> it's on this list. Along with uh, Deep Silver. Focus Home Interactive. Didn't Konami Project? say in one of the uh, E3 conferences, fuck Konami? In no. One of the no. trailers? No, no, no. <laughs> or was that a no. game? E everyone's, no. uh, everyone's, um, speculating that the Hideo Kojima game that showed up at E3, uh, said fuck Konami somewhere in its trailer. Yeah, because fuck Konami! <laughs> <laughs> They're serious. Fuck them. I am glad for the. Uh, fuck, what is his name again? I cannot remember the name of the Japanese person that that Spike just said. Hideo Kojima. Thank you. I'm I, I'm happy for that guy. I'm glad he's doing his own thing, uh, and I can't wait for his game. I don't know. His game seems like a visual graphic novel. It's probably just a fucking, um, uh, it's probably just a test. No, I mean, last time there was a game like that, it was just kind of a tech demo. Yeah. You mean, uh, what's that? What's it called? Um, oh my god, what's it called? P.T.? A what? Yeah, P but then P.T. Play is where they fired Hideo Kojima. Play, uh, PT stands for Playable Trailer. Oh, Playable Trailer, okay. Anyways, moving on. Logitech, Oculus, NVIDIA, Razer, Rebellion, Sega, Square Enix, Take-Two, and Warner Bros. Wait, NVIDIA? NVIDIA. Could be yeah. releasing some new tech. NVIDIA, Steven. Yeah, say it right. N NVIDIA. In Nvidia. Nvidia. Fuck off. I'll fucking they say it the your, way I want to fucking say it. They made your graphics card. Show them some respect. Yeah. Mm, go fuck yourself. Anyways. You, you, show, um, you show them respect, man. Take two and Warner Bros. Alright. Take two. What do you think? Um, New DC movie. What? New DC movie. Wonder Woman. What? What? Take Two is a fucking game company. You said Warner Brothers. I said Take Two. No, you said first. Warner Brothers after that. I said Take Two first. So let's talk about Take Two first. Okay. Then we'll talk about Warner Brothers. I don't know anything about Take Two. They're the company behind. Uh, the, they're the company that owns Rockstar. Oh. Two <laughs> ten. Yeah, sorry. I only knew Rockstar. I didn't know the uh, parent company. Oh! 
I almost fucking forgot about fucking Red Dead Redemption 2. We might see gameplay trailer of that. Oh, yeah, or yeah, not gameplay right trailer. Right. We might see gameplay oh, no. of that. Oh, no. Luna. What? Death Note is on Netflix. Pour holy water on Netflix, please. Can I run away? Uh, uh, Mighty Morphin okay, Power Rangers. Okay, other games that we could possibly see at E3. Uh, Call of Cthulhu. Uh, my old Gwent, which is friend. already out. Luna, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Mighty, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yeah, it's been on there. 5, NBA 2K18, I don't really seasons. care about. PES 2018, don't really know what that is. There's four. Project Cars 2, oh, Project so I forgot about to go. Sonic, and Vampire with a Y. Vampire spelled out as V A M P Y R. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jinx, Jinx, you owe me a photo spike. <laughs> no, you said okay. I said okay. Oh. All right. Damn. Well, anyways, um, what this website pretty much says what they wanted to see. I will give you a hint on what they want to see at E3. I said it. Like, as soon as Luna was like, here's one thing I want to fucking see. Wait, what? First thing they fucking say that they want to see Half Life 3. And they say under, underneath, we say it every year, and every year we are disappointed. Maybe this year, though, question mark. They say that every year. I don't really care about like... Half-Life 3. I want Portal 3, man. I know. I mean... Anyways, Red Dead Redemption 2 is pretty much be, going uh... to be confirmed at E3. And Half-Life 3 would just be gravy to the, uh, to the uh, gravy train. Here's something interesting. How about uh, cheaper VR headsets? Could that be possible? Or how about this? VR, uh, full dive headset. That's not until another 10 or 20 years. When did uh, Sword Art Online say it was going to be? Mm, I don't remember. But that's not... something? I don't fucking know. And it's not going to be... That date, Luna. Well, no kidding, it's not going to be that date. Because you know how uh, most uh, animes and movies are about uh, predicting the future? Not very good. Yeah, they're never right. Anyways, um... Anyways, is, is there anything technical related that we should probably, uh talk about that might show up at E3 this year? Well, to be perfectly honest, I have no clue. I don't really know either. It's kind of a kind of a blank to me. Alright, so um, moving on, we probably don't really have that much time left in, in the uh, podcast but we're going to move on anyways dark souls 3 is on sale on steam for 30 dollars i'm not going to get it on steam i'm going to i'm still going to get it on, get it on the because xbox because then you'll be able to play it with the rest of us the sword 2 is also on sale for 30 dollars wait 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 what steven what are you looking at two? no other than that dark souls dark souls 3, 3? Okay, if you get it on the Xbox, you can play it with Luna and me. If you get it on the okay. computer, you can play it with me and Billy. I'd rather play with you guys. Well, I'd rather play it on my Xbox. Okay. Besides I mean, I Xbox might will get be able it. To handle it a lot better than your computer will. I might get it on PC if I happen to like it enough on Xbox. I don't have its DLC on Xbox One, but I do have its DLC on PC. Well, I might get the DLC uh, if I happen to like it enough. What is this? What Lego is City Undercover. 
I brought that up already. Yeah, the, yeah he did actually bring that up earlier. Sorry, I, I wasn't attention. paying attention. What is this game supposed to be about? Have you it's never played a Lego City game before? It's basically Lego L.A. Noir. You play as a police officer. It's mixed. I wonder why. It's um, not even out yet. Uh, like, one of the first uh, Lego Cities actually had you playing as a pizza delivery boy. Spike? The release date was today. What? No, it wait, says, that was Lego Island, rather. It says repurchase on the Xbox One. Lego City Undercover released today on Steam. How much is it right I now? I guess it has a delayed release on Xbox. Suppose. How much is it? It's, um, let's see. $40. That's actually not bad. Yeah, but there's, uh, full of bugs. Say what? There's full of bugs right now, so they'll, they're probably, uh, um, in the middle of fixing all the bugs right now. Probably. But what game doesn't have bugs on day one nowadays? People really need to fucking get over the bugs. Especially on day one releases. Yeah. Like oh, said, what games didn't have it. Finally available. What'd you say was finally available? Uh, Fallout Shelter, the uh, mobile game. Oh, yeah. I've already been finally playing that, dude. Steam. I've been playing that for the last week or so. Well, it was finally added to Steam uh, actually, just recently. Two or three weeks, actually. But we. I knew that it was on PC. It's, it, we were just now. I'm. We're finally able to get it on Steam. Yeah, I just got through the uh, Microsoft Store because of the fact that fuck transferring all my data over. Yeah, I know, right? It's fun as a mobile game, but uh, I don't know. It kind of gets old after it a while. It gets really boring after a while. It's just a, it's just a little base builder, to be honest. It's nothing yeah. special. What is? Base, uh, Fallout Fallout shelter. shelter. It's basically just a little uh, community it's builder. It's a management and, tycoon. Uh, so you're already bored of it? Yeah. It's a management tycoon. So of course I'd pro I, I would get bored of it eventually. It, it entertained me for about like a week. Management. I, as much as I like management games, there's a limit. Well, actually, I take that back. It entertained me for two or three weeks, actually, but whatever. Is there anything new on you guys' wish list, by the way? Uh, let me double check. Make me look up this stuff. Ukulele. Yeah, ukulele's on there. Besides that game, Spike, I know you. I know you're. I know you have a big ass fucking boner for that game right now, but what the fuck? But, but yeah, it it <laughs> comes out it comes out soon. How is this stupid game still on my wish list? I thought I removed that one a long time ago. God. So, a lot of things happened this weekend, really quick, uh, before we end the podcast. Uh, Rick and Morty, uh, for one, Season finally, three. three finally came out, uh, and holy crap. All he wanted was dipping sauce. And Spoiler. also, and also, Rick, but at the end of the, uh, fucking... s Spoiler warning, but Rick confirmed seasons, or nine more seasons. Rick Only nine more it. seasons until he gets that sauce. Also, can can we just talk about the fact that he changed through several Rick bodies and now he's no longer the same Rick? Yeah, because he has the, the original now. version of that Rick has a bullet through his head. Yeah, he has level three access now. 
Uh, actually, he has level nine access. Actually. Well, I I thought it was level three. No, that was level nine. Oh well. Well, that being said, he has level nine access. So that's good. Do we even know what that even means? <laughs> I mean, I suppose he knows. <coughs> person. Everything else. I mean, he is the smartest human in the universe. Phoenix yeah. person. One of the smartest persons in the entire... Phoenix no. person. Who Phoenix is smarter Phoenix. than Rick? Come on. Phoenix person. Phoenix person might actually be as smart or smarter than Rick. Phoenix person. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, what else came out this weekend? Uh, Attack on Titan Season 2 finally came out. In Japanese. I don't care. I will watch the uh, sub version until English version. Oh, yeah. You were asking about wishlist games that are new on our list? Yeah. Um, here's one that I've actually been kind of wanting for a little while. Because it came out last year, but um, Ruby Grim Eclipse. It looks really cool. Yeah, sure, it's just another hack and slash, but it's basically cool. the characters from the uh, Ruby universe. Uh huh. And it's four player co op, basically. Sweet. And it's only $20. I'm assuming it's already out. Uh, yeah, it came out last year. <laughs> nice. Came out last year, uh, July the 5th. Oh, I don't damn, think I have his account is locked. I can't my, show you uh... guys this. Um, uh, okay. Grawly from uh, Twitter says, There are games that will keep calling you a fuck card when you misclick. And he, it's a picture of an error message that says, Physics says no. You cannot place an item inside itself. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> the physics told him no. You can't place an item inside of itself. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> but I want to place this box inside of itself. Well... Anyways, moving back to podcast topic, um, I do have one game that's pretty kind of new on my wish list. It recently came out a couple weeks ago. Uh, Train Sim World CSX Heavy Hall. It's a mixed review right now, but that's pro that's because it just came out and there's a a lot of bugs. Oh yeah, another game I, that's on my wish list that I kind of want: Mafia Three. Mainly because of the fact that it's old timey uh, uh, era, but basically you're taking down the uh, mafia I with this game. I'm just gonna warn you now: you may be disappointed. I've seen so video if you of, uh, gameplay of it, and it looks okay. If you're sure you want to play this game. And you know you may, there's a chance that you may get disappointed, and you don't care about getting disappointed. Go ahead. Yeah, to be honest with you, I don't care if I get disappointed or not. I, Go ahead. To be honest with you, if it's because of all the racial slurs and shit in it, I don't give two shits about that. I mean, hell, I gotta deal with that with uh, Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> more translated news cuz fuck it man pets police dog gets caught with cannabis in pockets <laughs> say that again I beg man pardon? pets police dog gets caught with cannabis in his pockets I beg <laughs> why did he pet right, the police uh... dog cuz he's an idiot we should probably go ahead and end the podcast so, um, wow, that's, uh, we've been, we, 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 uh, this is a long end. Um, so we're going to go ahead and end it off right here. Uh, so, 
Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you happen to like the stuff that we talk about, uh, please give us a like. Uh, and uh, go ahead and, and uh, make sure that you're you, uh, subscribed so you can get more of our crap. Yeah. Um, Remember, you're supporting our crap. <laughs> yeah. And hopefully in the near future, we will be able to, to be uh, streaming um, whenever Vlog TV comes back. I know I'll, I'm going to be streaming. We're going to be streaming this podcast, uh, streaming and uh, recording at the same time, may I add. Yeah. And uh, as soon as I get my new laptop, I will be uh, recording the podcast. Uh, so that way I don't sound like shit. And maybe next time we do this podcast, I'll wear the the good headphones that has the good microphone. Uh, when are you getting your new computer, Steve? Um, Death Eater? Um, that's a good question because I don't have the money for it. What happened to your money for it? I still, I'm, I still have to fucking, oh, I don't know, I, I had to fucking pay Spike 900 fucking dollars, so, just so he could get his, for one. And I thought you said that you were gonna have enough money to be able to get both you and Spike his uh, computer. I said I thought I did. Okay. I said I thought I had enough. But in truth, I'm glad Spike got his laptop because that's one problem, one problem that I never have to deal with ever again. For another five years. Steven, I need a new For... laptop. <laughs> what? I beg your pardon? <laughs> I am not buying you another fucking laptop. You're going to buy your, your own laptop with your own money. You can fucking get your own truck driving. Are we still recording? Are we yes, still on the air? Are. Because I want YouTube to fucking... I will not buy you another fucking laptop. Live. I may have to hire uh, Chalinor to cut that part out. <laughs> I don't care. No, I'm this joking. is this is all going to be uncut. Uh, so, anyways, just so we can end off this fucking episode with a bang. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, as always, we will see you guys in another two or three weeks. And as, as and in the great words of Foamy. Actually, no. Ding dong. Hold on. Uh, we will be back in two weeks because I will be home. Not next week, but the week after. That whole week I will be home. So we will probably do another one on the 19th. Maybe. Well, I'm, I'm marking that down as a deadline. Okay. Alright, yeah. so, as always, bye everybody. Love you. Bye. Bye. Say bye, Spike. Say bye, no. Luna. No. Join the Fominian cult. I beg your pardon? You, you don't know about Fomi, the squirrel? That, that is when you just stop the recording.